This is a unique shop. He does custom hot rods. He's his own boss, his own worker. He doesn't have to work fast. He's under no strain or stress. Uh, that's 1,100 horsepower, I think, was to the rear or more. This vehicle is 750 horsepower to the rear axle. And um, a vintage air unit was put into it. I'm about to connect up, but one thing, every few videos I show you guys, you can use dielectric grease. You don't have to use this. This is just very convenient to over spark plug boot grease, dielectric grease, you'd do the same thing. So you come to your fittings and you just do a little bit around the outer surface like that. And this will extend the life of the O-rings on the inside of your fittings. So you put your, slip your fittings on like that. And remember, you have an O-ring in there. You have that O-ring inside there and you wanna keep that well lubricated. You wanna keep it wet. You don't want it to hit rough things. And uh, vacuum, if you have little tiny imperfections in the metal or in your O-rings, nylog or dielectric grease will prevent vacuum from leaking by and extend the life of the O-rings for sealing there. So as you see here, I'm about to start the vacuum and I don't have the vacuum port open yet. From my last job, I had my gauges on a vacuum, uh, the vacuum and it's held 700 microns from driving from Redwood City to San Francisco. So now I'm about to hook up. Let's open up the vacuum. Here, I'll open up a, uh, I just opened up the low side to the port manifold. I opened up the high side. Oh, it looks like I have a leak there. I didn't tighten that down. Something, something leaked. And now I'll open up the vacuum. And so you always check that your gauges are capable of going down. There I am at 126, 100, getting down to 100 microns. So you, before I didn't even put the fittings into the vehicle yet. All I did was attach them without screwing them down. So I'm down below 100 microns within like 30 seconds. And so that tells me my hoses are decent. And now you could hook up to your system. Don't cram them down, just lightly, just touched. And uh, you don't want to damage the valve core in there. So you could just do it really lightly. And as soon as you feel stop just before you feel any resistance and so now i'm drawing a vacuum on the entire system and as i said this is definitely not the original engine that was inside this uh what is this oh malibu and uh as you can see those look like damn here's those look like 17 or 18 inch front disc brakes on this old malibu All right, we'll get okay. We can see we're down to around a thousand micron level right now. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to do a leak test it's because he had to send this condenser out and get custom headers made up to it, get it cut, get it shortened. And um, so they TIG welded by cutting this condenser down and changing its size to fit in here custom. So as you could see, looking at the condenser header over there, that is like no condenser header you've ever seen before in your life. I've never seen, oh no, that's the radiator here I'm looking, I'm sorry guys. There we go, we got a custom one there, but over here, they had to cut off something over here and shorten the condenser. And I don't know how they did it, but uh, we're gonna see if they have a leak and I'm getting a lot of extra fog coming out here, a little blow by here. And it should have stopped by now, I believe. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Make sure I have everything closed. Let's look for a leak because that was custom modified and they TIG welded the evaporator. No, condenser. Let's see if I see a leak under vacuum. be okay I know that you know there's gonna be moisture in the system it's a brand new system never been used so the only oil in the system uh, this is a vintage air unit so the compressors come full with enough oil for the entire system I don't have to add oil 
but uh that's going up rather fast that's concerning me now if I took a long time and found out this went up to about 2,500 or 3,000 and then just stopped and flatlined and stopped going up I'd say it's all moisture Okay, before I waste my time any further, oh, there it goes. It's going back down. It's settling out. Maybe it's okay. So what I'm going to do, because I know they brazed, they welded, and they did TIG welding on the condenser, I'm going to throw high-pressure nitrogen in here and do a high-pressure leak decay test because they painted over their brazing. And just by painting a weld, the thin coat of paint would be like an epoxy sealant, and it could stop a leak under vacuum. But when you put pressure under it, it could leak later on. And even not just pressure, but the pulsation vibration in hot refrigerant gas, it might not leak for five or 10 minutes or a few days later. And then the tiny little leak will pop the film of paint out of the way from a bad weld and it'll leak later on. So I might not even find a leak today because it's painted over where they welded and that could stop the leak temporarily. All right, so we'll uh, keep going from here and uh, we'll see where this goes. Next video, high pressure nitrogen decay test.